What's up guys, it's LBE Liberty here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a video game haul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I'm wondering what these boxes for. I don't know if you were, don't, don't see the boxes, but it's pretty obvious that these are the video games in here. And there might be one in there, might be two, we never know. But anyway, it's a lot of video games. And then at the end of today's video, we have a little surprise. And yeah, I think you guys are really gonna like it. A lot of people know in the world. I think almost everybody in the world knows this little surprise. And the surprise is game related. Open in three, two. All right, guys, so this is what we got in total right here. So in total, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games. Dang, that's a lot of games, guys. So I'm going to be showing you them one by one. All right, first one is we got Ori right here. It's called And the Blind Forest, the definition edition. And this is where Ori right here is a baby. I haven't played this game, guys, but my papi has told me a lot of good stuff about this. It's kind of, it's action. -y. And we got Ori Part 2, but it's called Ori and the Will of Wisp. And right here, Ori's bigger. And, you know, it's action, but I think the story kind of continues. And yeah, and by the way, stay tuned for the end of the video because I got a little surprise. All right, next we got 99 Vidas. This game is simple because all you do is walk in the, it's one of the, it's like a fighter. You walk just across the screen and you just beat up guys, beat up stuff, you know, and it's simple and I like it. Next one we have Super Epic, the entertainment more, and you look in the back. Video games are dead. We must save them. You guys probably already know what this is. We gotta save the video games. This is a yes. Definite yes to play. It looks very interesting. So you get these guys and you just have to save the video games because the entertainment people are trying to destroy them. Alright, next one we got is Finding Teddy Part 2 where you're this little girl and you're, well, you're finding your teddy bear. So it looks like um, an action-y looking like... I don't know what it is, but it looks like a dungeon crawler to me because look how creepy it looks. Alright, now we got Owlboy. My papi told me this game is um, kind of old, but it, it's, it came out for the Switch. And it was last year, it was a lot of money and it went down. And when, when, right when my papi got it, it went up. So this game looks pretty good. So yeah. So we have Guacamole right here. So it's like you're a wrestler and you're fighting through the underworld. And my pa is really excited about this one. I mean, just look at it, guys. This, this is, yes, a definite yes right here. And it kind of reminds me of Coco or Coco, as you know it, or The Book of Life. But I'm pretty sure you guys know that movie. All right, one of my favorites in the game hall is The Escapist Part 2. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I love this game. A, a while back, when we used to pre-own games a lot in GameStop, where I used to live and we used to go a lot, um, I pre-ordered, well, my bar pre-ordered this game for me, The but it was the Escapist Part 1, it was for the PS4, and I fell in love with it, but it was pre-owned, but up until now, I barely got it, and I'm super excited to play it. Okay, so we have Streets of Red, it's a beat-em-up, but it says it's a beat-em-up horror, and this is multiplayer, so I think me and my bar could play this together, because we love beat-em-up games. Right now, we're playing Cat Quest, and we are so close, uh, to beating Cat Quest. Comment down below if you ever played Cat Quest, or you beat it. Alright, we got Agelos. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you explore around the kingdom and I'm guessing you're this person. Or I don't really know about too much about this game. My Bobby didn't tell me too much. But my bot told me it's a pretty good game and it says Deadly Encounters in the back. So I'm pretty sure you're, you're going to either fight, shoot, and explore. Alright, next we got Me Mechster Mission Force. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a super rare game. It says right here, super rare, and it's very covered. I'm not gonna open it because I'm not gonna open it. it. Has sticker in the back. I have a. It's my own game, own game. I have one. It's called Freedom Finger, but here it is. I'm pretty sure this robot, and you're just going around and you're just crushing people or killing people or destroying things. Wait, wait. Why do I smell McDonald's? Bam! Look what we got here. We got some mickey d's pops okay so we got eight of them we're missing i think three or four from the collection but we got a lot of them and we have eight in total we got these from gamestop and there were right now these are these are brand new barely came out and they're starting to get a little pricey and they're going to become rare so we just took them like you know what why not look how cute that 
Wait. There's even a chicken nugget. Oh my, Fireman McNugget. Uh, we got um Ronald McDonald. You know, even though even though McDonald's not good for you, even though there's a little mini heart attack in a bun, I still love McDonald's. It's so good. And I was like, dang! I was like, look at this. They made McDonald pops now. So um, yeah. Let's get in, into opening. Okay, sorry, my bad. Not opening. I mean, examining. Ha! Two thousand. Open them. And, no, I open all my pops. But not these. No, no, not these. These are McDonald's. I bet if I... Okay. You know what? Enough talking. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to reach over here and grab the first one on the top. So the first one we got here is Fireman... Dumb light. There we go. Fireman McNugget. And look at that cute face. So he's a little fireman and he's a chicken nugget. So if we flip it to the back, this is right here. You can see the... Focus, we rock out Ronald Mc, rock out Ronald McDonald, Birdie the Early Bird, Cowboy McNugget, Fireman McNugget, we have her Rockstar McNugget, and Tennis McNugget. So there's like a whole Nugget fam, I'm thinking. So here we have the first little Nugget. Now we're next, we're going to go to the next one. Just put that aside. Okay, next... Next up, we got Rock Rock Out Ronald McDonald. He has some pretty good food, and he looks a little murderous right now. You know, he's trying to lure you in, like, "Hey, I have a sign. He's gonna take you. He's gonna take you back to the back of the McDonald's and go murder you dead right there, in cold, cold blood." So here he is, looking creepy, but he has some pretty good food. Okay, we got the po 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 police right here, called Officer Mac, and he's a. He's a Big Mac, obviously, and he's an officer. And look, look at his grill. Look at his grill. It's cheese, and I don't know what that other thing. Oh yeah, it's double, double bun. I forgot, triple bun actually. And ooh, the cheese melty, mm, and that meat. Sorry, just just look, look at that. And he even has a little McDonald logo in his suit, and he has such a big head, but such a little brains. Next, we got his enemy, Ham Burglar. He is a burglar. He be looking like Robin. He looks like he's related to Robin for some reason. And he got that. He got that Pinocchio nose right there. And he be looking sus. He's an imposter, everyone, because he's sus. We have, re we have regular murderous Ronald McDonald, but look at that drip in his eyes. You know that he gonna pop up under your bed offering you a Big Mac. And when you say no, he go... No, he's, he is like the cousin of it, I'm telling you. He's the cousin of Pennywise. Do you see the similarity? Look at him. He's even wearing yellow like Georgie's coat. I bet he borrowed it from Georgie. Like, hey, yo, I'm the cousin of Pennywise. Mind if I borrow your raincoat? All right, we got Rockstar McNugget. She is obviously a pop star, and I'm sorry, but she's looking like a Karen with that makeup. And she looks like she's yelling happily, give me the manager with that hairstyle. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know about that hairstyle. It'd be looking a little Karen sus to me. Okay, and we got Grimace. I have no idea what this fat dude is, but he's Grimace, and he looks so cute. He's looking like he's looking like he'll be under your bed, just be like, "Hey, you want a cookie?" And he's just be so friendly. He'll be so cuddly. He'll be like, "Hey, you want a cookie?" And you'll be like, "Yeah," and you'll be you won't be scared of him because look at look how cute that is. How can you say no to a cookie from a face like that? And we got Mayor McCheese right here, the one who can tell the McDonald's chef workers, whatever in the McDonald's town, saying how much percentage of a heart attack will be in the burgers. You know, it looks like he's like the dad of Mac, Officer McMac or something like that. <laughs> I forgot his name. Mayor McCheese, yeah, just look at him. He's like a cheeseburger. He looks like the dad of... The officer, the Big Mac officer, he's like, all right, he, this is what he tells the cookers in the little McDonald's town of the McDonald's. He'd be like, hey, when you're making that burger for that person, put 45% of a heart attack in there. That's that's what he, that's what, that's the choices he makes, everyone. All right, so here was everything, the games right there, and the pops. And well, that was the end of today's haul. Um, I'm surprised the video turned out to be 10 minutes. I thought it was going to be 5, but it's alright. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. And the next video should probably be me showing my Nintendo Switch collection, and the other Nintendo Switch collection will be on my Bash channel coming out soon. I'll be letting you know uh, soon. But until next time, peace.